Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick little uh, cap on this motor that I'm putting together. This is, well, it started life as a 3.2 Carrera engine, EFI and whatnot. Um, and this is actually a 93020 series. It's a 19 out of an 84 UK car. And we're rebuilding it completely from the ground up as per the customer's request. And the only change we're making is we're actually... Well, he's ordered some 98 millimeter pistons. I've been measuring them all just to make sure they're all within spec. And some larger cylinders as well. So brand new Marley or Marley barrels to go with them. And pistons to match. And these are a, a, quite a nice piston. These have the, the wedged shaped dome, like the Max Moritz style piston. Um, and they're actually coated on the skirts as well. Well, the whole piston is coated with a like an anti graphite type, I don't know what the coating is, but the skirts themselves do have like a, a little pad on them to reduce friction. Um, so these are quite a nice piston. Obviously nice valve reliefs cut, and they've still got the wedge, so obviously you've got to make sure you, you mount these pistons the right way. Funny thing is, I mean, I might, I'm not sure if I put a, a picture up before, but when I got this engine, the, whoever had, built the top end before, back in the UK, or we, well, we think it was in the UK, they'd installed the stock pistons upside down. Um, so they had the high part of the piston facing this way, rather than this way. It still ran. It, um, I, I'd be curious to know how it ran. Um, there was no valve to piston interference. It's only running the stock camshafts. But yeah, I mean, the whole idea of this is that the... Um, the, the, the it's to encourage the the fuel mixture to be towards the spark plug, um, so it would have it would have made it extra bad because <laughs> it was the wrong way around. So what I'm doing now is, um, as you can see, I've had I've got the short block together, the crank uh, the crankshaft is in, the rods have been resized. We've got some nice new ARP rod bolts, um, and what I'm doing now is I'm, I've just I've just checked my deck height. Um, before I put the heads on. This is just a dry assembly. This, this isn't the final assembly. There's no pistons in there yet. Um, so all I've done now is I've ascertained what cylinder, base cylinder gasket shims I needed. And these actually need a one millimetre shim. So, because when you buy the piston, uh, when you buy the barrels from Marley, they've got all different height groups and whatnot, and, you know, everything's different. So I ended up, so I, luckily I was able to order a whole bunch of uh, one cylinder, sorry, one millimeter thick base gaskets from EBS in the United States. We don't seem to have a supply for them here in Australia. Uh, there are a couple of custom gasket cutters, but I haven't had the greatest success. And they, they just, yeah, I just think by the time you muck around, it's you're better off just to buy the ones that are ready, ready to go. Um, you can stack cylinder base gaskets now. I know they say you should never do it. So when the, when these come from factory, they normally run with a a 0.25 thick gasket on the base, which is you know very thin, and that's pretty standard. And the theory is that when you have your engine rebuilt, um, and usually the first thing they'll do is they'll machine all the heads down by 0.25 of a millimeter um, for the sealing surfaces, so that there's a nice sealing, a uh, nice contact patch between the the head and the top of the barrel. Um, so if you machine 025 millimeters off, well then you need to put the head back to where it was basically um, because you're going to be reducing your uh, dome volume and increasing compression and you could have piston to valve interference, which is you know, pretty unlikely or the, with a stock camshaft. So then they, the factory sells you, in most places you can buy a 0.5 millimeter thick cylinder base gasket, little copper gasket. Um, I'll just show you. So this is what a cylinder base gasket is. So these are the ones that I've gotten from EBS in the States. So they're all, they're all pressed out of um, one millimeter copper and they are already annealed. Um, so, but the, the, the risk that you can run, I mean, I, I haven't had an issue with it up until now. Well, sorry, I don't have an issue with it, um, but you can use a 0.5 millimeter base gasket and a 0.25 millimeter base gasket, i.e. you can stack the gaskets. Um, it's not really desirable. I mean, this this is going to be a 
you know, a mild sort of performance improvement. So we're not talking, you know, 300 horsepower or anything crazy. But the theory is that if you, the more gaskets you put in there, they, they can move. Um, but, I mean, speaking to other experienced builders over in the US who have done this many, many, many more times than me, they stack gaskets, so they've never had an issue. Um, but, again, if you can avoid stacking gaskets... It's it's probably best to to avoid it. So so rather than getting a rather than getting say two point five millimeter gaskets or a point five and two point two fives, I've ended up spending the extra money and just getting a single set of one millimeter based gaskets. So what I'm doing now, I mean I already did a dry run assembly without gaskets and making sure that the heads were all nice and level and they were perfectly level. Um, so I've got the gaskets in there. I've got the head studs screwed in, and I've torqued down my heads <clears throat> to the first torque setting of 10 newton meters just to sort of clamp everything down and yeah it's perfectly flat now, you, you can't fit the smallest feeler gauge I've got is eight tenths of a thousand um, and that won't go in and even using a torch you cannot see any light come through it, it, any of those surfaces so it's perfectly flat so I've got no issues with camshaft housings and camshaft rotation so it's good to check this along the way and what I'm going to do now is just put on my camshaft tower and then also a chain box with a gasket and probably put a, a camshaft through and a um, the retaining plate, the thrust plate, the camshaft thrust plate and just line everything up to make sure that everything is still nice and central because um, you can get two different thicknesses of gasket here as well. So it's good to do all of this before you start your final assembly. It does take a lot of time and I know a lot of people sort of say hey you should it, it only takes 40 hours to build an engine i don't know where in the f they get that for well i do know where they get it from but they're all on drugs so if you're going to do it properly it takes a lot longer than 40 hours to build an engine i guarantee you that um and you, the last thing you want to do is rush it like the people that built this before they've rushed the disassembly of this one look at that see where they've broken off one of the top fins here and not on this engine but on, on the other side they've actually done it as well and that's where they've been bashing to try and get the camshaft tower off. Well, that's what I'm assuming it is. And they've probably clipped the, um, the corner of the fin and broken it off, which is, it'll be fine, but it's not ideal. So the last thing you want to do is rush these. You, you want to sort of take your time and do it meticulously. And, yeah, it might not be my engine, but I want to treat it as if it is. Okay, so time to put the camshaft housing on and line it all up.